The East Missoula Volunteer Fire Department is asking voters in the 2100 person area to support the East Missoula Rural Fire Truck Levy on November 6th. Volunteers at the station say the tax will improve firefighting for the entire area. 25-year-old Travis Wofstedt is the Assistant Deputy Chief and Grants Coordinator at the station as being a major contributor with the levies process. Typically, the East Missoula Station participates in the FEMA Assistance to Firefighters Grant Program each year to supplement the yearly budget, making it possible to purchase equipment that is outside the scope of the station's tax revenue. Early funding for the levy was sought through FEMA but was unsuccessful due to the organization's assistance in a 2005 fire engine purchase along with other essential firefighting equipment. FEMA usually doesn't fund duplicate requests such as a second engine, which has caused volunteers at the station to seek new avenues of funding. Wofs that had this to say about his role with the levy. Couple different grants, and we haven't really gotten anywhere with that, so we looked at other options, and this was discussed. And eventually, after some research and working on it for the last four or five months, this became my project. Currently, attempting to pitch a levy to the voters of our district, our community, to purchase a new apparatus, an engine like the one behind me here. Uh, at this time, this is our primary response engine for all fires, car crashes, and just any rescue scenario. And it's coming up on five years old now. It's purchased off a of grant, and it just for re routine maintenance and issues related to that, we don't really have a backup engine. So we're trying to provide a better service to the community and ensure that. Missoula Station is the oldest acting volunteer department in the county and has been properly functioning for 63 years. Since firefighting tactics have evolved over the years, members of the station have followed suit with training and equipment updates. Funding for the organization has been made possible through the county's property taxes. Wofstead and other members have faced challenges in the campaign push for the levy. With East Missoula being a blue-collar working community, convincing homeowners of an additional property tax has been difficult throughout the educational process. Wofstead and other station members feel confident enough that the levy will go through and a new engine will improve safety for the area and reduce insurance rates for homes in the district. Firefighter Mike Birnbaum has been with the department for 18 months and also supports the levy and has helped Wofstead with informing people in the area about the benefits of a new engine. But uh, very, very uh, interested in seeing it happen. They understand why we're making the push and why we, we have this need. It, it really does boil down to a need and not a want. While economic times are currently tight around the county, some homeowners will be opposed to a tax increase on their property. There may not be enough money to be spread for the East Missoula Station, and the necessity of another truck has some people questioning the purpose. The, the voters and ask for more money. They are skeptical, especially in economic times. Yeah. Uh, um, but I do think that uh, if it's well presented and, and we're well spoken and we get out to the streets and, and speak on behalf of the department, we plan on canvassing the East Missoula community with all of our firefighters going door to door. We're doing a pancake, uh, pancake breakfast. And I think that that'll serve the community in a, in a non-confrontational way of them being able to kind of come in and if they're on the fence, they can come in and meet us, which a lot of them haven't done before and also learn a little bit more about why we want this um, and need this new fire apparatus for, for their community. November 6th will be an interesting day for the station and could be a breakthrough for the county if the levy is approved.